back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I am here today to review another of my favourite books that I've recently read. This book was amazing. This book I picked up, I think because someone recommended it to me on Twitter. I think it was one of the books that was in my Twitter recommends TBR. And I'd never heard of it before that. So thank you to whoever it was who recommended it to me. I loved this book so much. This book is just perfect for this time of year. It is set in a very, very icy landscape, very cold, very bleak very much um, at the edge of the world. And it's a fantastical book, but it also has roots in history because this actually combines stories that are Norse along with stories that are Inuit. And I really, really enjoyed the combination of these two cultures in this one particular world. Don't know very much at all about Inuit history or Inuit culture. So this was fantastic to learn about it, but also to imagine it. I have never read any books by this author, although I see she has a couple of other books out and I need to read them because this one was so evocative. It was so transformative. It completely took me to this icy world that is just so far removed from where I am. I could imagine it so vividly, the traipsing across the ice, the different groups of people who are like nomadic groups who travel across the ice hunting as they go trying to make a survival in one of the harshest landscapes and also these Vikings I do know a little bit about the Vikings I've learned a little bit about the Norse histories and cultures and storytelling and so it was interesting to see these two cultures combine in this book, we are following a young person called Omat or Omat, um, and Omat is our main character for the whole of the story. Omat's a character who's very much unlike any other characters that I have read before because Omat has a soul in a body that doesn't fit together. And a lot of the story comes back to Omat trying to reconcile the soul that they have along with their body and who they are deemed to be by society standards. So this is a really interesting concept for a main character of any novel but particularly for fantasy I felt like it's not something I've seen an awful lot of at all and it felt very fresh and different as a main character angle so I love that. We also have another character who is called Brandir who comes in a bit later. Brandir is one of the Viking characters, Omat is an Inuit character and they end up meeting one another through various events in the story um, and Brandir is quite a cynical character. He is a character who's been through a lot in his life. He's travelled all over the world and been part of some amazing but also some terrible things. Um, he goes through this kind of transformative journey of being a character who was a warrior and then is a broken man and then goes back to a warrior. So it's an interesting combination to see the Viking side of things from his point of view but then also to see the Inuit side of things from Omat's point of view. So I have to say that this book is dark. Um, trigger warning straight up for rape and for really gory scenes because those things are definitely in this book. However, I will say that I think this book actually does handle these themes well and I think it does so with integrity and with respect for those things um, and for healing and observation of what it is like to go through things but also what it is like to heal from things. I like that it balances those elements well. Um, so I will say yes there is rape in this but I do think it is handled much better than most books and I think it's not there for a plot point, it's there because it really informs how bleak and how dark and how desperate and how isolated this world was for the people who lived at this time. The author actually has a note about this book which I think can't remember if it's at the start or the end that I read it but she says that there is a story of two Inuits who were kidnapped by Vikings and that is the only recorded history of Vikings and Inuits meeting one another. She's kind of taken that one recorded historical event and transformed it into this entire story about 
how the Inuits and the Vikings might have clashed and what might have happened if they'd met one another, how their civilizations might have interacted. Obviously, we don't know. Um, so it's all speculation and then it becomes very fantastical as well. There are gods in this um, world who are very much a big part of both the Norse and the Inuit traditions. The Inuits have a kind of family culture where everyone happily sits together and tells stories about the gods. Um, we have people who are particularly blessed by the gods and Omat is one of these people along with um, Omat's grandfather. They are very much people that the tribe and the group turn to um, as or when troubles come up. The gods of this world come in so many various forms. You know perhaps the Norse gods but the Inuit gods are much more animal based um, and much more kind of based around the natural world like the sun and the moon that sort of thing. So I really really found it interesting to learn more about the stories of the Inuits, um, some fantastical but some also based in reality and I loved the way that the story focuses in on Olmat and the people that Olmat is with as they gather together around the fire and talk about these gods and reflect on what the signs could mean. Um, I love that. I love that kind of mentality and culture where they all gather together and tell stories and it just really, really takes you away and transports you to this other world. The world they have is so harsh and so bleak and it's really, really heartwarming to see them bonding together. So I loved all of the Inuit sections. I thought they were fantastic. They seemed like they were really well researched. There's a massive list at the end of the book of all sorts of sources that the author used as she was writing this um, to discover things and find out things. And she even went to some of the places mentioned as well. So it definitely seems to be very well researched. Um, and I love that. It reminded me a little bit of like the Clan of the Cave Bear in some ways, but also I think this is better by far than that. And I really, really enjoyed this. So there's all that. There's all the Inuit stuff, which is great. And then there's the Viking stuff and the Viking culture and the Viking mentality is so vastly different to the Inuit. It's just really interesting to see how they play off one another when characters from these two cultures kind of interact. So I loved their discovery of one another and I loved where that went. We also have like the hunting aspect of being an Inuit or a Viking in this time period where they have to hunt for everything. Um, they're living off the land and the land has not got much to offer in this part of the world because it is frozen and it is very much difficult to survive um, in these hostile conditions. So it's really interesting to see the different groups and their approach to living off the land. Um, there are so many good bits about this that I I'm sure I'm forgetting some but I feel like there were so many good bits and really the story is just beautiful it's lyrical it's lovely but it's also a story that just builds naturally it feels like you are being pulled along at a campfire and being told the story of Omat and Omat's adventures and I loved it I just I thought it was incredibly well done incredibly well told very evocative, very emotional. There were some really sad scenes that really did get to my heartstrings and I definitely connected with the characters in this. I feel like there is so much to love about them and so much to enjoy and learn from their stories and their histories. Even though it's fantasy, it still felt like I was learning cool stuff and it made me really interested in finding out more about Inuit life particularly. Um, so yeah, really, really, really recommend this and I could not speak more highly. I know I haven't really said too much about the plot, um, but it is based around these children going missing and Vikings and Inuits and their lifestyles. And I don't want to give too much of the plot itself away because I think it's part of the adventure for you guys to discover it yourselves and just really enjoy the journey into these crazy places that you would never normally be able to visit. So I highly recommend this. I gave it a five stars. I really, really loved it. And it's definitely one of my favourites. I'm so glad that recently I've had a spree of really, really solidly good books. And I'm super excited to get you guys to read them. I'd love to know if you have read this book, what you thought of it. If you've never heard of it, definitely pick it up. Um, or if you've read any other books by this author, please let me know which ones you recommend because I haven't read any of her other works, but I'm definitely now very keen to do so. This one is a standalone and it was just 
so wonderful. <laughs> like it was just so wonderful. And I would love to have read more from this author in this world. But I'm also equally intrigued about her other worlds. That is my review for this one. Do let me know what you thought of it if you've read it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with some more book reviews and videos coming your way. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.